We recognize as well and welcome Consular General of the German Embassy and his wife, Mr. and Mrs. Ingo Herbert. Today as well, we acknowledge Deputy High Commissioner of the British High Commission, Her Excellency Mrs. Laurie Bofills and her husband, Neil Norton. A round of applause. To think Nigeria is to think transformation. Professor Kingsley Chiedu Mogalu, an institutional and intentional global leader, a nation builder, an economic reformer, former deputy governor, of the Central Bank of Nigeria from 2009 to 2014. He is the author of the critically acclaimed book, Emerging Africa. Distinguished worshippers, a fearless breed of Nigeria, receive with us tonight this professor of nation thinking for a turnaround transformation, Professor Kingsley Chiodomagalu, for a two minute two minutes direction on the course and path of who we are and what our impact is as nigeria you are welcome sir thank you thank you thank you pastor paul Adafarasi, the governor of lagos state his excellency akinwumi mbode distinguished ladies and gentlemen i have the honor and the privilege to introduce a prayer point on the economy of Nigeria. We need to pray for our economy. Why? Because 57 years after independence, we still have so many Nigerians living in poverty. We have 30 million people unemployed What's the secret of economic transformation? How can we make our poor citizens into the middle class? How can we move from economic growth to economic development? How can we move from economic development to economic transformation? A few things we must do. Number one, we have to understand that the only countries in the world that are wealthy are the countries that produce complex products and export them to other countries. They take our oil, they take our raw materials, they take our agri products and they turn them into finished products and sell back to us. They are rich, we are poor. The Bible tells us that we must pray for our leaders in authority. 
And so we should pray tonight for our leaders in Nigeria that God will give them wisdom to be able to take the millions of Nigerians that are in massive poverty into the middle class that we will be able to put the 10.5 million children who are out of school in this country it is time to put them back to school it is time for Nigerians to create wealth it is time for us to embrace transformation and so ladies and gentlemen I have the honor and the privilege to introduce the man, the bishop, who will lead us in a prayer point on the economy of Nigeria. Kindly help me welcome one of the fathers of faith, a pastor of pastors, a leader of leaders, overseeing hundreds of pastors. He is the presiding pastor, the presiding bishop of the redeemed evangelical mission of Nigeria, Archbishop Mike Okonkwo. Welcome. Everyone shout hallelujah. Pastor Paul, I want to thank you so very much that every end of the year you bring us out to end the year in a glorious way. May God continue to increase you more and more and preserve you and keep you alive to fulfill your part of destiny in these last days. Shall we all stand? We're going to be praying for our nation. Everyone standing. First of all, we're going to thank God that for being a Nigerian, in spite of our challenges, in spite of all the problems around, God has kept us together. It doesn't happen like that in other nations. It is a blessing that we are still together as a nation. And so, before we go into other items of prayer, let's just lift up our voices and thank God that God has kept us together. We are not scattered. We are not divided. We are still standing as a nation. Shall we lift up our voices and pray? Father, we thank you. We thank you for bringing us together. We thank you that in spite of all our challenges, we still stand together as a nation. We thank you for victory over insecurity, over every violence, bloodshed, and confusion. We are grateful to you, O oh God, that you are still, your hand is still mighty upon us in this country. We return all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration to you. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your eyes of favor upon Nigeria. Receive all the worship. And everyone that believes shout Amen. 